you know, judging if we go back to yesterday when we played them, that first set was really tough. Um, and, you know, a couple bounces of the ball here or there, they could have won that first set just as easily as lost it. Um, they come out and they're young. It's, it's a bunch of freshmen, a bunch of new players, and um, they really are fearless. And I give their coaching staff a lot of credit for the fact that they just they play free. They play uh, fearless. They go up, they hit hard. Um, and if you don't do your job, uh, they can run points together. Um, so it, it's no surprise that they came right back out with the same mentality again. I thought yesterday after the first set, we wore them down a little bit with execution. And then the same thing today, that first set, um, I thought they played really well. Uh, we also missed uh, a lot of serves. We missed some easy blown coverages. And when we went back and looked at the computer, I think it was like 22% or something like that of the points um, were our errors. That's way too many. It, it's got to be somewhere in the five to 10 range at the most. And uh, so we, we, we gave them double the points that, that we should. Um, and they took advantage of it. I think afterwards, I think we settled down. We didn't change our game plan at all. Nothing, nothing. And um, we just executed what we came out to do from the first set. I'm uh, open for any questions that you have. Anybody have any Coach, questions? You talked about um, on the other side about they have some hard hitters. Talk on the other side, they have some hard hitters. And in specifically, I mean, Daho finished with 18 kills, really had a profess, uh, impressive performance today. You have a pretty strong hitter on your side, too, in McKenna. What did you see out there with the battle between those two and kind of your comments on both their play today? You know, ironically, the battle wasn't between those two. Um, certainly, um, Nicholas, uh, I'm sorry. It's, uh, yeah, Dahu's, Dahu. Uh, she's, uh, she's something special. I mean, she was a top junior college player and uh, her arm is as good as anybody that we're going to see this year. She just the velocity that she puts on the ball, we haven't seen that. And um, I intentionally put Anne Marie on her to see if we could slow her down a little bit because she went off on us in the scrimmage yesterday. And Anne Marie slowed her down a little bit, but you know, she still got 42 sets, 18 kills. That's almost a 50% kill. That's way too much for an outside hitter. Um, but she creates her own shots. You know, great players do that. They find a way to create their own shots, even though they're having defenses put up against them. So she's a big time player for them. And then she's surrounded by a lot of young players who are making young player mistakes. And when they start getting it together, they're going to be a really good team because they serve well and they ball handle extremely well. Their defense is as good as anybody that will play in conference. And uh, this was a perfect test for us this time of the year to play a team that serves hard, passes really well, and um, can play defense on your best shots. And we really had to work. We had to work on our serve to cause aces. We had to work on our offense to, to create seams to score. Uh, they made us work, and they did it with a bunch of freshmen, and I give them a lot of credit for that. Sorry, you know what, to finish the end of your question, the, the battle ended up. What your team do better today than it did yesterday? Uh, the question was, what does our team do better today than yesterday? Um, well, that's a tough and, uh, question. I really don't know. Um, I thought we were more consistent in spreading the ball around more. I thought today we used our right side hitters a lot more, and it showed in the stats. Um, I thought they produced at a very high level. We did not depend on our left side hitting, whereas in the match yesterday we depended more on the left side hitting, thought we got the middles the ball a little bit more. So we're trying to become that more diversified offense that we need to be to have a long run. Uh, so I thought, you know, we calmed down after the first game, thought that was a good job. And then I thought I'll, I thought we went on and just executed the last three sets, doing what we said we wanted to do. 
Any more questions for Coach Guys? There's quite a delay. There's about a 10 second delay. Uh, I have one more, Coach. Uh, you really saw, um, I could see from the stands, McKenna in the first set. You guys are down pretty much the entire thing. She's still talking to her teammates, very vocal out there on the court, keeping their heads up. In the second set, when you guys are winning, it's the exact same thing, whether you guys were up 10 or down 10. I just want to kind of ask you about McKenna's character and like kind of we saw it out there on the court today. Is she the leader of this team um, going forward throughout the season? Do you rely on her to be that vocal player? Well, I think one of the challenges that I talked about, I think I was just talking to Trace about this yesterday. What does McKenna mean to us? And yeah, she means kills and she means aces and she means blocks. Um, but for us to be good, none of that matters. For us to be good, she has to make everybody around her better. And she knows that. So yesterday she did not have a great game, but we did as a team because everybody else played well. Today she had a really good game, yet she still picked up people and inspired them and pushed them to have a better game than what they had yesterday. So, you know, really what she is, I compared her to a Michael Jordan and that she makes everybody around her better. And that's what we need from her every match all year long, no matter if she's going out there and she's, you know, dropping 20 kills or if she just has five kills, we just need the strength. We need the courage. We need the stability that she brings to the floor and makes it okay for everybody else to be good makes it okay for everybody else to make mistakes, makes it okay for everybody to believe that we're going to be okay. Does she allow for other leaders to emerge then? She does. Uh, I think she is uh, not only good at um, knowing when to speak up, but she also realizes that certain players have great connections with other players. And she might go up to somebody and say, hey, tell her this or talk to her about this. So we do, we have a lot of upperclassmen, a lot of experience that all these players have been starters since they were freshmen. And so um, they know how to rally the troops. Um, we have more than one floor captain and uh, that's gonna be something that we're really gonna need as we go through, because I think different players hear things differently from different you know, teammates and they may hear something from McKenna one way, but may hear something from their friend another way. Um, and it resonates a little bit better. So she's starting to learn who hears, not just listens, but who hears best from other people. And she'll step up and take that role when she needs to, but she also empowers others to do the same when that needs to be done. That, that's a, you know, that's a big time trait to have in a, in a captain.